Expecting the arrival of a cold front later on this afternoon and ahead of it, some showers and thunderstorms making a return. I'm meteorologist Dr. Athena Masson. For your morning schedule, many of us waking up to mostly cloudy skies are low temperatures in the lower 70s, rising on up into the mid 70s by around 9 a.m. And that's when we'll start to see those storms developing mostly out towards the nature coast before pushing into north central Florida around the afternoon, mainly in the early afternoon, but also monitoring that cold front. As we take a look at our high temperatures for later on Tuesday, still getting up into those mid 80s, 85 in Gainesville, 86 in Ocala, 88 in the villages. Now, as a cold front approaches, it does give off prefrontal warming, so a lot of hot air right in front of it. That's going to help to raise our temperatures even further with our heat indices feeling close to 100 degrees in Gainesville and warmer to the south, 101 in Ocala, 102 in the villages. So the whole pattern for today, all eyes on this cold front. We'll start off towards the western part of the Panhandle very early Tuesday morning and then slowly making its way through Tallahassee and the Big Bend as we approach the noon hour. But just ahead of that, a lot of instability and a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, and this could trigger up some strong showers and thunderstorms at times. Most of that should remain to, to the north of the I-10 corridor, but we could see some isolated activity pushing through north central Florida throughout the afternoon and into the evening. But as that cold front moves through during the overnight Tuesday and into Wednesday. It's going to help to usher in drier conditions and cooler temperatures. Our high temperatures on Wednesday in the mid 70s.